One of the things I want to talk about today is how to navigate the new open and save dialog boxes in your programs with Windows Vista because it has changed and has changed pretty drastically compared to what we've done prior to now. First I want to explore how though they've reorganized your files in your hard drive. You have your C as your hard drive. We used to have a documents and settings folder in previous versions of Windows. That is now moved under a users folder as one of the primary directories here in the C drive. So if you click on the little triangle, which used to be a plus sign, now you get the subfolders underneath users. There is my current user there. And underneath it, they've made it a little different as well. You've got your application data for your particular user. But more importantly, I want to point out your documents folder here and they've tweaked out the pictures and the music that used to be underneath the documents folder are now their own folders outside of the document folder. In any Windows Vista program when you click the save button or file and save you're going to get this reduced version of the old save dialog box and it's going to remember most of the time where you saved your data. So it just happened to be the last time I worked in this program I was in the radio show folder. If I want to change that I no longer can click on this little box here and get a drop down arrow of the hierarchy of my folder. I now have to click the button here that says browse folders. When the browse folders comes up I still don't see my folders. I now have to click on a button here that says folders to collapse this favorite links area. Now I can see that I'm in my documents and I can see all of my folders. So I'll click another option here under classes I'm going to save this as test document and then click save. So you can see that when you're navigating the open dialog box or the save dialog box, there's a few more steps to it than there used to be with Windows XP. So let's do that again. We'll do a file, save as. Now since I asked it not to hide the folders, the next time I got into the dialog box, the folders were available to me. So if I click the documents on the left, now it looks similar to what it used to be with Windows XP over on the right. But again, if that hide folders is clicked, your folders disappear and you get this miniature box. In order to bring it up, you have to click Browse Folders. And if the folders aren't readily available, you have to click on the folders here. Now, one thing I do like with the new dialog box is the ability to add to your favorites over here very quickly and easily. So let's say I'm working currently on a project for Larchwood and I need to save a lot of data into that folder often and open data out of that folder often. I can click and drag, just regular click and drag, over to any spot in this favorites list and when I drop it I'll now have a link that will get me directly to that folder. So if I cancel this dialog box and if I go to open I now have my favorites up here at the top so I collapse the folders and I can get directly to these folders that I use most often in this favorite link. So I do like that part. Now one other thing I do like about Vista, and even though I'm, I have a few likes here, it doesn't mean I like Vista as a whole, is they we have the pervasive search all over the place. However, if I'm in the search box, and if I want to look for another folder without having to navigate to the folder, it won't do it. In the open and save dialog boxes, the search only works for the folder that you're in. So in order for me to search all of the folders in my doc, so I first have to click documents and then I can search for a subfolder this way. And whether or not that's faster once you're already in the documents folder than actually finding it in the list is up for grabs. I probably don't think so. It may come in handy to use this search box if you have a folder that has lots of data, then you can use it that way. I just wish Microsoft would have made this a universal search like they did on the start button. In order to get the different views that we had before, we still have the views tool on the toolbar and I can choose details if you like to see the date things were created and the type of document it is or you can do our list and now with the new Windows Vista you can get these giant icons which if the program is available you will get a preview of that particular document. You can create new folders on the fly just like before that's right here. There's a new organize button in Windows Vista 
this lets you also get to the new folder very similar the organize button is very similar to our old file button in windows xp and prior there is a layout button here that is new where you can collapse the navigation pane that was here all together or i can get the details pane down here so if i click on an item i can see all of the details here versus having to be in a details mode and lastly you can get a preview by clicking on a file so you can get a preview right there and that's all done under layout so there you have it windows vista's new open and save dialog boxes there's some pluses there's some minuses i'll let you make the decision on whether you like it better or worse than windows xp 